In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your provisioning profile for PhoneGap Build. A provisioning profile is necessary to test an app on your device before sending it to the app stores. Apple requires that you have a provisioned device such as an iPhone or an iPad and a provisioning profile that matches your device. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is add a device. to your, This is under in your Apple developer account. It's at developer.apple.com forward slash account. Now if you click on the plus button you're going to give your device a name and then you're going to add the UDID. So for example if I want it to be Scott's iPhone then I'm going to add my UDID. So um, you can find your UDID by, in, by attaching your device to your computer with a USB cable and then opening up iTunes and as described by Google here uh, in the right pane, locate the information about your phone and reveal the identifier by clicking on the serial number. And then you can copy it. It's a really long number. You can copy it and paste it here and then click on continue. So once your device is added to your list of devices, you can actually create a provisioning profile. So under your provisioning profile, you can either create a development or a distribution profile. You just want to make sure that it matches up with your certificate. So if you created a development certificate, create a development provisioning profile. <clears throat> if you created a production certificate, then create a distribution provisioning profile. Now, if you are using push notifications, you're going to want to create a distribution provisioning profile. If you are not using push notifications, then you can just use development. Um, also, if you are going to be distributing to the app stores, you will need a uh, production certificate and a distribution provisioning profile. So I'm going to go ahead and click on plus here and that's going to ask me what type of provisioning profile I want. Um, iOS app development, again, is if you're not using push notifications and you just want to test your app. If you're actually distributing to the app store, you're going to want to choose app store. for testing push notifications you're going to watch or you're going to use ad hoc so I am going to uh, actually use ad hoc you, you can actually use ad hoc for testing um, even without push notifications so if you just want to create ad hoc that's just fine um, so I actually forgot to do the app ID so if you are doing a uh, distribution profile you actually need the correct app ID so first let me go back and add my app ID. So you're going to actually go in here and give your app a description. And then if you're using push notifications you need an explicit app ID. Now you can find this in your reactor account under the build test tab. You'll see app ID here. So um, you just want to make sure that this is a unique name. It's, it, they, we give you a default one but you might want to change it and just make sure that there's no spaces or numbers or capital letters or anything. Just keep it real simple. Uh, just give it you know, maybe the name of your uh, company or website and then app or something like that. And once you do that you can actually copy that in here. And if you are using push notifications you're going to want to select push notifications here and then click continue. And that's going to actually register your app ID. So I've actually already done that for this app. So I'm going to go back to provisioning profiles, go to ad hoc, and then I'm going to find my app that I just created and select it, and then click continue. Now it's going to ask you which certificate you want to include. Uh, just make sure that this is the same, uh, that this is, if, if you're using production, use distribution here using development here, use development here. Okay, so continue. Then you're going to select which devices you want. If you have a team, you can, uh, you know, put all their devices in under devices and then select them all in your provisioning profile. Whoever actually wants to install the app and use it has to be on here. And if you actually come back and add someone's device later, you have to re, you have to delete and recreate the provisioning profile again. So it's best to get all your devices in early. So I'm going to call this reactor dev test and generate. Okay, so now I have a provisioning profile. I'm going to actually download this 
here. And it's saved. So the last thing that you need to do is actually add those certificates to PhoneGap Build, and I'm going to go over that in another video.